Super Contest for Week 10. And we have got, last week, I went 5-0 and against the spread. I am 27-18 and on the season. Chris went 2-3. and He is 21-22-2 and on the season. Uh, Chris, I'm going to start us off. I'm going to take the Lions plus 9 at the Steelers. Every Steelers game is close. It does not matter who they play. Typically, they win their games at home, but they are not going to win this by more than a touchdown, I do not believe, uh, because I think the Lions have a lot of fight in them. I expect the Lions to continue fighting here. So give me give me the Lions plus nine at Pittsburgh. We're using Bet US? Uh yes, Bet US lines. It's now nine and a half. So you're good. All take right. yourself a half point. I'll take the same thing. And my logic is a little different than your logic. My logic is the Steelers are gonna win this game, but the Steelers are gonna look like shit doing it because the Steelers are a really bad football team. This is the exact same team as last year. Nothing has changed since last year. Their record is going to make them look like they're really good. They're probably going to get a playoff spot because there aren't seven teams in the AFC that deserve to make the playoffs. And they're going to get their ass kicked when they first get in because they're not a good football team. Yeah, yeah, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. My next one on the board, the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles plus three at the Broncos. I I think this Eagles team... I've talked badly about them pretty much all season. Devontae Smith has really shown up at wide receiver for them. They have threats on offense. And Jalen Hurts, you know, it's basically what he runs at Alabama or what he ran at Alabama and at Oklahoma. He doesn't have to throw the ball down the field. He just gets the ball to the playmakers and lets them go make moves in space. And I don't think the Eagles are that bad. I don't think that the Broncos are nearly as good as what they looked last week. So this is them regressing back to the means. I'm going to take the Eagles plus three uh, at Denver. All right. I will go to the Seahawks and the Packers. I'll take the three and a half against the uh, Packers. Uh, once again, I, don't, I kind of don't even care if Rodgers plays anymore. I, I think there's a world where that team, that team's got a lot, a lot of bigger issues. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that. Game three for me. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Bucks on the road, minus 10 against the Washington football team. Uh, Tampa, Washington's defense, I kept expecting all season for them to show up and, and do something different, and they haven't. This is not a very good defense, and I think that Tom Brady and that bunch are going to eat them alive. Washington's defense is number 30 in total DVOA. I'm expecting a ton of points from Brady. He doesn't seem to ever cover in primetime anymore. It's always a close game with him, but we got him at a... a you know, 1 p.m. Eastern time game on the road. Yeah, give me give me Tommy here. So I'll, I'll take the Bucks minus 10. Yeah, that's a pretty good pick. That's a pretty good pick. I'm going to take the Panthers plus 10 against the Cardinals. I, I know that the Panthers have not looked very good, and I know the Cardinals have been killing everybody. 10 points is a lot of points, and I just, I just think at some point in time, I don't think the Cardinals are that great of a football team. Uh, I might be wrong. At the end of the year, they might be hoisting Lombardi, and I'm looking like an idiot. <laughs> I just don't think they are. So. I can uh, I can understand it. Uh, pick four for me, Vikings plus two and a half at the Chargers. I already talked about it. Uh, I think that the Vikings overall are the better football team. For whatever reason, the Chargers seem to play better on the road than they do at home, and and I think the same thing will hold true here. The Vikings have gotten close, close, close. They're three and five on the season. I expect them to be able to get the W in this spot. So, so give me the Vikings plus two and a half. I'm going to take the Titans at home against the Saints, minus the three. I just think it's too many points. Uh, it's, it's not enough points. Uh, this Saints team is a, is a weird team, a hard team to figure out. Titans team's fighting hard. They're playing hard. I'll take the Titans. And that, that Titans defensive line uh, against this Saints offensive line, yeah, that, that looks like a sizable mismatch there. So I can, I can roll with it. Game number five for me, I'm going to take the Jaguars. Jaguars plus 10.5 at the Colts. Do I think that the Jags are a good football team? No. Do I think that the Colts are a good football team? Not really. They've played really well lately, but I think that the Jags are a little bit better. They are improving. I don't think they're going to get smoked in this game. I expect this divisional matchup to be relatively close, so give me the Jags at plus 10.5 at Indianapolis. There you go. And I will take my last one. I'll take the Cowboys minus the 10 against the Falcons. I think one of these teams is due for a big, 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 big bounce back, and I think the other team is not good. They just got to win. I don't expect them to get many wins. I think they'll get blown out. I can get down with it. 
All right, uh, recap right quick. Lions plus 9.5, Eagles plus 3, Bucks minus 10, Vikings plus 2.5, Jags plus 10.5 for me. And, uh, and Chris has got the Lions plus 9.5, Seahawks plus 3.5, Panthers plus 10, Titans minus 3, and Cowboys minus 10. Chris, is there anything else that you would like to hit before I let you go and wrap this thing up? No, sir. I'm good, brother. Thank you. Wonderful. Take care. We'll talk to you again for the Friday show. See you, man. All right, perfect. Let's go on and knock this thing out. Head over to BetUS. They bring you the show each and every time out. BetUS.com. Use the promo code NCAAF2021. It's going to get you 125% sign-up bonus. And you can, of course, click the link that's in the description, and it will put the promo code in there for you. It's up to $2,500, and it is sportsbook exclusive. Along with that, check out the BetUS College Football Show. Check out the Sportsbook Review College Football Show. Chris hosts that one. I host the BetUS one. The links are in the description for those. And with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and get out. Oh, go to winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks and everything else will be over there. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully, all of your tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.